welcome to interview questions on statistics so today's question is what does the p value mean when it comes to statistical data so what is this p value so basically when it comes to statistics it's a very important measure when it comes to statistics p value is one of the most important measure which we consider and along with that we generally use this p value when we perform hypothesis testing so we use this in hypothesis testing where we have a null hypothesis and we generally try to accept or reject the null hypothesis based on some sort of evidence so so we reject or accept null hypothesis based on the evidence and also this particular p value so according to this p value we will be deciding whether to accept or to reject the null hypothesis after calculating the p value and the next part with respect to p value we have certain rules or we could say certain statements with respect to the value so if the p value is greater than 0.05 that means we don't have enough evidence to reject the null hypothesis so therefore we proceed and we accept the null hypothesis on the other hand if the p value is less than 0.5 then we have enough evidence to prove that null hypothesis is false so we reject the null hypothesis and we also have another third option which can also be possible where p value can be equal to 0 so that's where we either it's false on the border line of the decision so whether we could accept or we could reject the null hypothesis so most of the time this p value would be very important when it comes to the uh, critical region so we have a term in the statistics when it comes to dis distribution of the data we have something called as critical region so let's say we have a simple example here or a simple example of a distribution and mostly we will be performing the one tail or two tail test for the hypothesis so we have the decision boundary here now along with this let's say we are doing a one tail test so when you are doing a one tail test uh, this will be your negative region this will be the positive region and this is the decision boundary line where you will be accepting or you will be rejecting and let's say we are considering a small region here which becomes a critical region this is your critical region and this point after which we are going to consider the critical region that point is called your p value so according to this p value we are going to decide whether to accept or reject null hypothesis